Hello, Lisa Piper here. Today I want to talk a little bit about what we do here at the Natural Living Organic Food Co-op that's sustainable. A big part of our mission is to be zero waste and zero carbon footprint. This is not easy to do, let me tell you. Um, but you know what? It, it, we find that it's doable. It's just taking a lot of intent and really being conscious about what we do and use. So let me walk you through just a couple of the things here that are sustainable that a lot of people aren't aware of. So first of all, all of the shelving that you see, even the crates here, are uh, made out of recycled woods. Most of it is pallet wood or old fence boards. And um, this actually was a microwave cart once before, long ago, that we've given new life to. Um, we've taken rods from um, the bamboo in the backyard. These were old tables and our crates have been remade and repurposed wood from fence boards and tables. We have a lot of our furniture here. So all the tables, all the shelving that you see have been handcrafted from reused, repurposed materials. That's just one example of the way that we really work on trying to recycle and reuse. Um, some of the other things that we do here is we don't really offer bags to people when they shop. So some people give us that look when we go, okay, here are your items, and they go, can I have a bag? So this is a great opportunity, we feel, for an educational moment to say, sure, we have recycled bags that people have brought in for you to reuse, and we just accept any grocery store bags, any chain store bags, any of those plastic bags, those one-time use bags that we're hoping to get rid of soon, those are still around in people's cupboards, then we have them donated to the co-op and we reuse them here. So when people ask us for a bag, we just give them a reused bag or let them know in the future they're welcome to always bring their own bag. Of course, we sell cloth bags and even insulated bags that keep things cold for reusability and this is also encouraging a little more sustainability. Um, some of the other things that we do here is we offer recycled glass jars when people come to get the bulk things weighed out for them. So we accept recycled glass jars that are clean and then we clean and sanitize them once again and put them over in our big bin and sell them for 25 cents each since we have to go through the process of sanitizing them and this makes it really convenient for people while they're here if they've forgotten uh, a jar or maybe they found something that they forgot they were going to buy or didn't realize it and they didn't have enough bags or jars of their own that they brought in so we offer this so that we get rid of that one-time use plastic. We also, as you notice, we have all glass jars that we use. We don't use plastic for a lot of reasons. Plastic is really awful on food. It doesn't belong in food. It's a petroleum product. And often some of the foods that we have will leach some of the plastic out of the container itself and into the food. So to avoid that, we use glass. Glass is also way better for storage. We have very tight fitting jars, uh, lids on our jars, and this keeps things fresher longer. And we feel that's a lot more sustainable than that plastic you see on shelves elsewhere. So we then, of course, in our cafe, we only serve with ceramic or glass or even stainless steel tumblers that we have for water. We don't use plastic there either, and all of our to-go items in the cafe are compostable containers. We actually encourage people to bring their own containers from home, reusable containers, and we offer a discount of 25 cents off per container at the cafe when they do that. And when people bring it, we love that. We welcome it, and we kind of make a big deal out of it so that everyone else around has that educational moment to go, oh, I could bring my containers anywhere I go. Yeah, it's a lot better than one-time use plastic, but rather than plastic, we do use compostable uh, silverware, plastic-ware, and uh, to-go containers for everything that people are taking out of our facility. Everything here, of course, is you're getting the real deal ceramic plates and glassware and silverware. Um, some of the other things we do are, are straws. We really encourage people to not use straws at all, but it's a habit thing, and as people are learning to get rid of that habit, 
We do have our compostable straws, and for when you're here and getting a drink staying here, we use our reusable, sustainable uh, stainless steel straws that we also sell. So those are some of the other ways in which we try to raise awareness and help at least cut back with the one-time use plastic that we just toss anyway. Um, cleaners here at the co-op, we use all natural cleaners as much as we can, sustainable cleaners that have natural ingredients. We don't use any of the SLS stuff, so, um, sodium lauryl sulfate. We're very careful about minimizing chemicals as much as possible. We are a health food facility and have a cafe, and so we do go ahead and follow all of the health inspector requirements that they ask of us, and then we work really diligently on everything else using vinegars and natural cleaners when we can. Um, even the things that we sell here you'll see um, lead to that. So for laundry detergent, we sell soap nuts, which is literally just a, a nut that grows on a tree, not an actual nut. So don't worry if you're allergic to nuts. And that makes a great little bit of suds in your laundry and cleans it up great. So this is another way in which we can educate people that there are other options. Um, as much as we can, we try not to print things out. We do things electronically. We send out our email and notices to our members that way. And <clears throat> whenever members do get a share, we send our recipes out electronically. That way we cut back on all that paper waste as much as possible. We do offer recycling containers and canisters here throughout the store to really encourage people to use that option and yes our staff will go through the trash later at closing and pick out all the recycled items and put it into the recycle container so these are just a handful of the things that we do here that's a little more sustainable we also compost in the kitchen so our cafe takes all the scraps kitchen scraps everything that we can and we have a huge compost bin in the backyard that we'll put it to we also um, encourage our co-op members and community to add their kitchen scraps to it if maybe they're not able to do that they're in an apartment. They can bring it here. We just ask that they follow the guidelines that it is organic and that they make sure that they know what can and cannot be compostable. Um, we do offer classes occasionally on way more tidbits of how we can help everyone become a little more sustainable and of course we're all learning and evolving as we go so every day we look for more and more ways in which we here at the co-op can be more sustainable and help you learn how to be more sustainable as well so if you like information like this we would appreciate if you just give us a like so subscribe to our channel and maybe share this with a friend who doesn't know all the things that we do here at the league city natural living organic food co-op check out our website at www.shopnaturalliving.com. Thanks.